video, we are breaking Pendulum for good. That's my brother, Trip Jr. 50k, baby. We're going to 100. We're going to the moon. 10 best <laughs> deck, you already know. Let's go. We're going to go get fresh cuts right now. And we're going to be breaking new Pendulums with all the new support. It is cold, man. I am freezing my balls off. All right, Steve. So, so I say I know I'm a little late on this. Happy birthday. It worked out that this came a little bit late. You know? oh, 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 oh. Let's go! Enjoy it. That's so fucking sick. Enjoy it. I know you're thinking. <laughs> that is so sick. Yo, thank you so much, congrats, man. Congrats on the 50 stuff. Come here, man. Yo, congrats on the 50 stuff. You're two minutes away from locals. I love life so much. And if you guys can take anything from my video, be thankful, man. Life is so beautiful. Life is so incredible. If you guys are feeling down, please don't be. Take some of this positive energy from me. Be happy. Life's incredible. I love you guys. As I said, Extra Pendulum is absolutely broken. So I'm gonna show you guys the deck list super fast before you guys show you guys the combo. And it's absolutely insane. You guys need to know these strategies and combos when you guys play online so you guys can clap all your opponents. So obviously you're gonna play Double Joker, Triple Wisdom. And these are gonna be your, this is your classic Magician lineup. You need to make sure you're playing triple of all these. These are very vital. And obviously the Triple Double Iris. The reason why I'm showing these first is that you want these in your scales. And the Wisdom and Joker ensures that you get the open Iris in the scales. So no matter what, your plays will be able to resolve. Very important you play max of all of these. Okay, now, obviously you're gonna play the Triple Harmo, but not something new. That is White Wing Magician. You need to take advantage of the Extra Pendulum spell card. The fact that it's so searchable by half your deck, you wanna make sure that you get Synchro Summon all, all day. You wanna Synchro Summon all day. You want Harmo to bring up White Wing, to double Synchro, to then Pendulum Summon for three all over again. So it's very important that you do play the White Wing for that reason. And I'll show you guys the combos. I've already solved it, this deck's insane. And why am I showing the feet of my beautiful playmat? I don't know, maybe go on TripGaming.com and go buy it for yourselves to figure out why. Play one Poison and one Celestial. We took out Black Fang to make the space for more Magicians. Tuning, like I said, Synchro Summoning is absolutely vital in this version. Souls, Triple Chrono, Time Gazer, and then the only one performed by Pendulum Sorcerer. Your Duelist Alliance, like most of the time you're gonna be using Duelist Alliance and everything else to search the extra Pendulum. You still play the one Scythe. You're gonna play Triple Desires. And now this is where it gets very interesting. These are 30 cards as you see. The next 10 are literally all targets for Duelist Alliance. This is the extra Pendulum, the card that is not released yet. For those who don't know what this card does, you get an extra Pendulum Summon every single turn from your extra deck, which is why we're playing Synchro Synchro, Super Synchro Summon Orientated. And these are the new, the, all the 10 Pendulum cards we'll be playing with Pendulum in their name. And the fact that Duelist Alliance searches basically all of them is absolutely insane as well. So you're gonna play these and I'm gonna show you guys the extra deck super fast. Super fast, you guys can understand. You need to play Artemis for this version. Sometimes you just generically link summon for no reason just to get free summons from your, uh, to get free summons from your extra pendulum. So these are gonna be the link summon, extra pendulum. A lot of the time you, you're even gonna go into a random Appalooza to make sure you can just summon three underneath. All right, let's go boys. So I'm going to draw four cards as we did for the last combo. Like I told you guys, we're playing the White Wing now. To be able to Synchro Summon more and resolve Extra Pendulum as good as great as we possibly can. So all we desire is for the Joker because you want to make sure if you get Pen Call, your search might be different. You might need to search Wisdom, etc. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't banish Scythe. Don't banish Scythe. Let's go. All right, finally, we get a good Desires up here. We're going to draw two cards now. Oh, so now we have two Extra Pendulums. Sadly, it is only a hard once per turn, but that is totally fine by me. What we're going to do in this scenario now is we're going to normal summon Joker. Joker's effect, this will get us anything we want, okay? So what we're going to do here, you want to think deeply. This is Duelist Alliance. You kind of want to save it for a, a, the Pendulum Graph. You also want to recognize that you do not have Harmonizing. You really have to think this play through, but you do have Extra Pendulum. If you get Pen Call, you can get rid of the Extra Pendulum, and you could really go off here. So what I'm going to do in this scenario is I'm going to use Joker to play around Valor. See if he, he hand traps. If he does not hand trap it, I'm most likely searching the Oaf Dragon. If you get the Oaf Dragon here, you do some calculations. Okay, I figured out our play, boys. Here's what we're gonna do. We're actually going to search the Oaf Dragon. So next, we're going to pen call away the. We're gonna do. We're gonna scale the Oaf. We're gonna do this alliance into pen call. Don't worry. Okay, we are going to find access to Pendulum Grab regardless by a very big brain play. Our next play, we're going to pen call away the extra extra pendulum and then we're going to get harmonizing and we're going to get a wisdom eye magician okay 
in this scenario, what's the point of getting a high scale here when Wizzlemite has the opportunity to be any high scale or any low scale, and all you're having is lo low scales in your hand? Next, we're going to scale the Wizzlemite, and now we're going to Pendulum 3. The effect of Harmonizing will trigger, summoning out Oak Dragon. If you guys... So we summon out Oak Dragon. Our next play, we're going to Synchro these into Barone de Floor. Once you got Barone de Floor on the field, now you want to think a little a uh, little deeper for what you want your end board to be. So we're going to... We have extra pendulum hand still. We're going to uh, link with with White Wing and Joker into Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber's effect is going to trigger summoning Tuning Magician. Now at this point, we have to think extremely, extremely smart not to make a mistake. Sorry, I put double iris in the middle zone. So what you want to do now is you have to think about your zones. You want to resolve Extra Pendulum in the best possible way. So what I'm going to do in this scenario actually is I am going to, you want to free up the zones. You know what, this is going to pop that. You really have to think about your end board. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to synchro these into Selene. I'm going to use the effect of Selene, the special tuning magician over here. And then I'm going to link the double iris and the Appaloosa and the Selene into an Appaloosa, freeing these three zones. Then activate your extra pendulum, summoning back three level fours. Now, you're also going to recognize, wait a second, I really don't need much of this. This is kind of actually clogging my board, if anything. So what you're going to do here, actually, you're going to put these two into Tornado Dragon. You're going to link. Yes, yeah, so you're going to put these into Tornado Dragon. And now at this point, you're going to... Uh, so you go link one. Okay, you're going to link the Tuning Magician into Artemis. And then you're going to use the fact of Tuning Magician from the graveyard to special summon Tuning Magician. And then you're going to link these two into Dagda. This is why you need to play this. Then you're going to go into Dagda. And now at this point, you're going to activate the effect of Barone de Fleur to pop the double Iris that you brought back, triggering the effect of Dagda and triggering the effect of Iris. That way, getting both Scythe and Pengraph. Now, Extra Pendulum allowed you to extend this much through a hand with no extenders. You didn't start with Souls. We didn't get to put the Appaloosa before our pen summon. This basically extra pendulum is the extender at the end of the turn rather than the beginning of the turn. And this is vital. Let your opponent play. Please tell me what combination of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in history will stop this. So let's say you go drop phase tornado. Let's say your opponent has, what do you think? Droplets? You think droplets are going to save, oh, by the way, Old Dragon add at the end phase as well. What do you think? Droplets are going to save save the, their ass? Oh God, no. Here's what they're going to do. You're going to go droplets, drop phase. They're going to get rid of tornado. They're going to get rid of Baron. They're going to get Appaloosa. They can get rid of whatever the hell they want. Okay. Well, you're just going to activate, well, Tornado Target Scythe, you're going to activate Pengraph. You're going to activate the effect of Pengraph, targeting your Wisdom Eye and their Droplet. You use Pen Call. Hence, Wisdom Eye cannot be destroyed. So the second effect of Pengraph in the same chain sends Tornado Dragon to the graveyard before Droplets resolves to negate Tornado Dragon. To resolve chain backwards. Droplets doesn't do jack shit. Tornado still resolves. Scythe, GG. You just handshake. They have like two cards in hand after the droplets. What, Chalice, Imperm? Doesn't matter. It, it, it dodges it the same way. And on top of that, you got a Barone de Floor and a Gate to stop them if you really wanted. And you got a Send 2. And you got Appaloosa for 2. All possible because of Extra Pendulum. This card's absolutely insane. And when this card is legal, I'll be taking it to locals all the time. Let's go. So as you guys saw there, Extra Pendulum. This card's absolutely insane. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, amazing ways how to put Odd Eyes Pendulum, Graph Dragon in the Pendulum Magician deck. Let's go. So, in this deck list with Pendulum Graph Dragon, you just remove the second extra Pendulum for one extra Pendulum Graph Dragon. The only way Pendulum Graph Dragon becomes powerful in this deck, there's going to be some times where it's not that good. But you need to play as many extenders as possible. Because if you have extenders, extenders is the way that you make Pendulum Graph Dragon really good and always search it before the pen summon and pen summon it out. So, I'm going to show you guys our hand. If we don't have an a way to do it, I'll just show you guys another one. Uh, so, I think this does it. Yeah, this this definitely does it. This hand's like this hand's insane. So what we're gonna do here is okay, I mean there's plenty of ways to do this hand. I'm gonna try and save the dualist alliance for later, but obviously this dualist alliance can search the pendulum graph if we want to, the dragon. But also we want to make sure that the end board ends on duels on the trap card as well, because the trap card will always be better than the odd eyes pen graph dragon. So we're gonna use Joker here. Don't use dualist alliance until you absolutely absolutely need to. We're gonna search for wisdom eye. And now what we're going to do is we're going to scale both Wisdom Eyes. And obviously we're going to put Star Pengraph. We're going to put Wisdom Eye over here. We're going to use Oaf Dragon. 
And remember, Blue Alliance can search the Otis Pengar if you want, but just make, what the heck kind of chances is that? But anyways, Old Dragon, I'm going to activate the effect of Star Pengar here. We're going to get Harmonizing. Uh, obviously, save the Oath for Harmonizing to add when you want it. And then in this scenario, we're going to Wisdom again. Here, we're going to put up Double Iris. Our biggest goal here is to trigger Double Iris as much as humanly possible. We want to pop it twice this turn. And then what we're going to do in the resolution is Special Chrono and Special Harmo. Uh, still save this Duelist Alliance. We want to see how the, how, the, how the combo goes just in case. So what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, get uh, link these into Needle Fiber. We're going to use Needle Fiber's effect now. Special out our level 1. I actually think we might use Duelist Alliance to search extra Pendulum for this hand. But we're going to have to see exactly how to do this. This is going to be a, quite a complicated hand. So our next play here... Uh, let's see. We are going to let me calculate. Much calculations. Don't resolve Oath Dragon just yet. So what we're gonna do? Let me think. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to link these into Celine. Celine effect is special. You can ask response. If he Nibiru's you, it literally just doesn't matter. You go Oath, add Harmo, Goose Alliance, add Pengraph, and a special this to make with the token Migdegda. Like your opponent's absolutely screwed if the Nibiru are here. So what you're gonna do is you're going to put these now in Tapalooza. Okay. Your next play, you're gonna use Oath Dragon to add Harmonizing back to your hand. You're going to Pen Summon. Use the effect of harmonizing. You're gonna to wanna to summon an Oath Dragon. All right. Next, you're gonna summon out a Baron de Floor. Next, obviously, you wanna make sure that you have uh, Dagda all set up properly. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to link these. No, they have to be different names. So we're going to put this into Artemis. And we're going to link these into Dagda. Then we're going to activate the Factor 20 Magician from Graveyard. Make a Dragster. And then we're going to use Duelist Alliance. We're going to search for extra Pendulum. We're going to set Scythe. We're going to activate extra Pendulum. We're going to summon specifically two level fours. We're going to go into Tornado Dragon. We're going to use the effect of Barone de Floor to pop the double Iris. I'm going to get Pendulum Graph. Now this time you're going to recognize something. You're going to realize that I did not summon All Eyes Pendulum Grab Dragon. Want to know why? Because why the fuck would I? Look at this board, bro. This board's absolutely insane. You don't need All Eyes Pendulum Grab Dragon. Keep that card where it belongs. Right in here. This is where All Eyes Pendulum Grab belongs in an All Eyes Magician deck. Yes, it's cool. It has Pendulum Grab in its name. But guess what? Pendulum Paradox has Pendulum in his name. It's still ass. The best logic I can give you guys. Keep Pendulum Grab Dragon out of your Magician decks for now. When Electromite gets released inevitably from the ban list, it is going to be the most broken card to play in the deck. But the only way to pop Double Iris is after your Pendulum Summon. So are you really about to play Ritual Spells in your Pendulum deck? You have no way to actually resolve Otis Pendulum Grab Dragon. There's no way to Pendulum Summon Otis Pendulum Grab Dragon from your hand by searching it unless you pop the Double Iris. But you can't pop Double Iris until after your Pen Summon. So what's the point? Until Electromite comes out, keep Pendulum Graph Dragon out of your Pendulum decks. Extra Pendulum, however, is an absolute must at at least one in your deck. Even in hands that brick, they unbricks them by soul charging. And there you have it. Like I told you guys, like I told you guys, Extra Pendulum makes this deck insane. It gives you a soul charge for three. Doesn't matter if your opponent hand traps you or not. It's so easy to get scales in a pure Magician deck. So by easily linking off, you just get them back easily, especially with Celine. It's incredible what the deck can do simply by getting an extra pen summon from the extra deck, especially a free Appalooza. As far as Pendulum Graph is concerned, 
I do not recommend playing it in your Pure Magician deck. And if you want to play it in a fun little Odd Eyes deck, that's fine. But like, why play a subpart version of Pendulum when Pen Magician is just the best way to play it by a landslide? That's it for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And hey, like I told you guys at the beginning, 1,000 likes in this video, and we're gonna do Odd Eyes. Pure Odd Eyes, baby, pure, with performance. See you guys in the next video, peace.